Welcome to the technical studies. Mainly there are two methods of erecting storage tanks, jacking method and conventional method. But there is another method. Instead of using costly hydraulic jacks, we can erect tanks using chain blocks. Remember that this method is limited to the diameter and height of the tanks. Anyway this method is very cheap. Mark the center of the foundation. Mark the 0 degree, 90 degree orientation of the tank, as given the drawing. Draw the diameter circle, on the foundation. Don't forget to add the shrinkage allowance due to welding. After welding the annular plates, install the sumps, and the bottom plates. Mark the, tank in a diameter circle, on the annular plate. Fix the required number of erection stools on the annular plate. Minimum height of the stools shall be 350 mm. Transfer the inner diameter of the tank on the stools. Erect the top shell course on the stools. Install the curb angle. Install the roof structure. Install the lifting system, same as per the jacking system. Assume the weight of the tank is 35 tons, I use 10 numbers, 5 tons capacity chain blocks. The lifting threshold is made form 10 inch, 40 schedule pipe. The stay pipes are, made form 3 inch, 40 schedule pipes. Hooks are made form 25 mm thick plate. The base plate is 400 mm square and is 20 mm thick. Tack weld the lifting hook 300 mm above from the bottom of the shell. Install moon plates outside the shell, opposite to the lifting hook. The length of the moon plate shall be 1200 mm and the width and thickness shall be 150 mm and 16 mm. Complete the welding of the roof structure, nozzles, curb angle etc. Lift the first shell course to the required height. Install the next shell course. Complete the fit up and welding. Loose the chain block and remove the lifting hook and the moon plate. Install the roof plates, roof handrail, nozzles etc. Now the erection sequence is, same as per the jacking method.
After the erection, remove the chairs and lover the tank on the annular plate. Fit up the annular plate to the shell. After completing the welding of this joint, fit up and weld the annular plate to the bottom joint. Thank you for watching.